In the latest from Pismo Beach, parklet permits for outdoor dining have been extended until September as the City Council explores a potential permanent version. KSPY's Claudia Busio joins us live now from Pismo Beach with reaction from community members. Claudia? Thank you, Richard. We're live in Pismo Beach now. Several restaurants in the downtown area tell me that having dining areas like this one in the outdoor really saved their businesses when restrictions due to COVID-19 were really, really tough. Parklets are here to stay, at least temporarily. It's almost like a little European kind of feel to it. An opportunity for visitors to grasp some beach views. It's just the atmosphere. It's nice to be in the breeze and, you know, sunshine. For Cool Cat Cafe in downtown Pismo Beach, outdoor dining was a life-saving investment. It did allow us to bring back more staff to work, so we were able to give some people their jobs back, give them more hours. At Moreno's Taqueria, Having an outdoor table gave them a 15% increase in sales. Nicanor Moreno says that their tent gives them more visibility, drawing new customers to their restaurant, something that Masterpiece Hair Studio also noticed. Areas are, now they're parking a few blocks away and maybe enjoying Pismo Beach a little bit more, um, walking by more businesses on their way to the beach. There has been much debate around making parklets permanent. The city of Paso Robles removed parklets from its downtown area last week. Solvang opted to keep Copenhagen Drive closed at least for another month. On Tuesday, Pismo Beach City Council discussed the possibility of a permanent outdoor dining system, but several concerns were raised. There's some issues then with uh, that uh, we raised about uh, the electrical and heating and uh, you know, the design issues. Under the proposal, around 30 parking spots would be available in a lottery system and would cost around $580 with additional fees depending on its design. Under this new program, it'd be rather costly, it looks like. And it would take our staff a lot of time as well, it looks like. In a four to one vote, City Council approved keeping the current parklet program until September 30th and plans to revisit a permanent idea. Um, you know, we hope to keep it, you know, maybe someday permanent, but at least having it through September make, definitely makes us all really happy. Another idea on the table is closing down Pomeroy Avenue. Now for that, the city is requesting a study to make sure what type of impact it can have on parking, on traffic and on outdoor dining. In Pismo Beach, Claudia Busio, KSBY News. All right, Claudia, thank you. City Council is planning to revisit the idea of permanent parklets at a later date.